Sometimes I have to remind myself that not everything has to be a struggle. But most things are, so when they're not, I'm kind of like, well, wait, wait, what am I missing here? So like, too good to be true kind of thing. So in that regard, that scares me, in that it, I, I worry that this is a temporary thing. And I don't feel my career is temporary, and I definitely don't have plans to pursue anything else or anything like that. I mean, this is this is how I how I view what I would like my job to be, and I hope that I can I'll like try it out as long as possible, I guess. You do everything in my power to. When I decide that today I'm starting a new piece, generally, if that's the day that I'm starting the new piece, it's not the day that I just started to think about the work. So generally, I get ideas in various places. So start with an idea, a concept, a word, a phrase, and make connections with that um, based on my own um, I guess interpretation of that theme and then it could be different interpretations of that theme and somehow um, I break it down and in, into what it makes me feel it sounds so awful after I get the theme then I definitely am able to work out a mood and from the mood comes the color palette and then um, depending on those effects that that I want to occur on the surface it would it would, it would, sorry, it would determine um, what medium or media I would use. I know, I like thinking about assigning associations and um, color associations included. Obviously, at some point, I've, well, not obviously, but at some point, there, there becomes an association with, with music, musical inspiration, and that's what will drive those responses and those layers in the process is is being in um, being in the music, listening to this music repeatedly, re repetitively. Um, so that kind of propels things more than fixating on an idea. I try to get myself to mentally take on the the sensations that I'm trying to express. So that's a lot of. That's where th music comes in a lot of the time, just because it's, it's a really, I mean, it's a simple way to sustain one of the, uh, like that, that mental state. There are times when, I mean, I listen to the same thing over and over and over again, like the same playlist, over and over and over again to sustain that target sensation. And it, it, when you do that for enough hours, it starts to become, uh, it starts to feel like, um, I mean, I, I, not that I'm a meditation expert, but it starts to feel like a meditative state. Making the work does, to use your words, take over m m m me mentally and physically, sure. And not just for the time when I'm in work mode. Usually at about three hours, it starts to just stop making sense. But. Granted, that's not necessarily three hours of like pen to the paper. It's 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 like three hours of staring and then standing and staring and then sitting and staring and and then you know with something in my hand. You know, maybe I'm gonna use it, maybe I won't. If I had to say in a word what my process was about it, it would be layering. But I mean, that's putting it simply. I mean, I guess more than anything, it's responding. I guess. And so, but the response comes in a layer. I guess there are a number of different indicators that let me know when I can stop working and stop making marks. Um, I guess the criteria would be, you know, have I established my palette? And by that I mean, does the palette emote what I want it to or intended it to, or am I okay with where it is, I guess? Because sometimes, lots of times anyway, things change or, or I'm, you know, you have to use your imagination for color harmony until you actually see it on the surface. Leaving a piece and, and leaving it mentally, 
are, are, are certainly t two different things. Because, yeah, you're right, if I am obsessively working at something for six hours a day, it doesn't exactly leave me. So, yeah, am I able to look back at work that I was doing and remember exactly what it was I wanted to feel then? Yes. Um, so I'm not sure if that's because of success in the work itself or whether it's because of that association with place. If I'm bored at working, which does happen, it's generally because of other reasons, not because I don't like the work. And I say that confidently because if I were bored with something, I would stop doing it because that would indicate that there would be not enough connection, guttural connection to something. I like feeling, I, I, spend, I spend a lot of time feeling dramatic. And when I don't feel dramatic, I just feel like I don't have anything invested. I don't think that my practice would be what it is without having that kind of emotional connection with my work. And whether or not that's dramatic, I guess depends on the work. It's, it's funny how easy it got it was to get to this point, and by easy I mean automatic. Mm-hmm. <laughs>